In this problem, we need to find the quotient and the remainder if this polynomial f of x is divided by this polynomial p of x. First thing before we actually do the division, are there any missing terms? f of x is 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus x plus 7. I have my degree 3, my degree 2, my degree 1, and my constant. No terms are missing. How about with p of x? I have x squared, which is degree 2, and then I have my constant term. There is no x term in p of x. There's two different ways of dealing with it. One, you can just write x squared, leave a blank where the x is, and then put a 1 to remind yourself there's something missing. Or you can write x squared plus 0x plus 1. The reason we do this is to keep all our terms lined up. Now we've got to decide how to do the problem. Could we possibly use synthetic division? Remember, synthetic division is easier than long division. But what are we dividing by? We're dividing by a degree 2 polynomial. Synthetic division only works when you're dividing by x plus a number or x minus a number. So in this case, I'm going to have to do long division. So remember the long division process? We're going to write our divisor. And I prefer to use the 0x because that really keeps me on track. And now I'm going to put f of x here. 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus x plus 7. Now the process for long division is you take the leading term in the dividend and divide it by the leading term in the divisor. So I'm going to take 3x cubed and divide it by x squared. And that gives me 3x. That's part of my quotient. My quotient I write up here. And I'm going to write the 3x above the x in the dividend. And now what we have to do is you multiply 3x times your divisor. So I'm going to do 3x times x squared plus 0x plus 1. And I'm going to write the answer under here under the correct terms. So 3x times x squared is 3x cubed. 3x times 0x is 0x squared. And 3x times 1 is 3x. Now, if we hadn't have put in a blank all that missing term of 0x, we would have landed up not having this term, and we would have had the 3x written under the 4x squared, and then, of course, we can't combine those like terms. So if you put in a blank or a 0x term, it helps keep everybody lined up. And now what we need to do is we need to subtract this whole quantity from the dividend. And some students just write that, and then they do the subtraction in their head. That gets a little dangerous, and what I recommend you doing is instead of writing the subtract at the beginning, you just change all the signs and add. You're much more likely to get it correct. So my first term is going to become negative. My second term was positive. It's going to become negative. And my third term was positive. It's also going to become negative. So you can see these terms are now all negative. And now what I need to do is add. Well, what's 3x cubed minus 3x cubed? Those add to 0. And if the first terms don't add to 0, you've done something wrong. Now I get 4x squared minus 0x squared is 4x squared. And now I have 
plus x minus 3x, that's going to give me minus 2x. And now what I have to do is I have to bring down the last term, plus 7. And now all I'm going to do is repeat the process. Leading term divided by leading term. So I'm going to get 4x squared divided by x squared, which equals 4. That's part of my quotient. And then I want to multiply 4 times x squared plus 0x plus 1. And so I'm going to get 4 times x squared is 4x squared. 4 times 0x is 0x. And 4 times 1 is 4. And now change the signs and add. So this is going to become negative, negative, negative. And now 4x squared minus 4x squared, those add up to 0. Negative 2x minus 0x is negative 2x. And lastly, 7 minus 4 is plus 3. Now, can I go on any further? When the degree here is less than the degree of the divisor, you're done. Since I'm dividing by a degree 2, directly I get to degree 1, I'm done. So 3x plus 4 is my quotient. And the remainder is here, is negative 2x plus 3. Another way of writing the answer is we could say that f of x divided by p of x equals the quotient 3x plus 4 plus negative 2x plus 3 all over x squared plus 1.